hello friends in this video we will see how to work upon Android virtual device we will learn what is an Android virtual device AVD why we use it and how we can run it so Android virtual device is basically a, an emulator configuration through which you can test your app so let's say you have an access phone and you want to run your app on a device on a virtual device which is which is a tablet or which is a 7 inch screen or even a 3.5 inch Android device virtual device so you can easily run it with Android virtual device because you can't guess get access to each and every device so for that Android studio provides us with Android virtual device so now we will see how to run it open your Android studio here you can see tools go to tools click on Android here you can see AVD manager in AVD manager options are available to create a new Android virtual device so we will work upon it you can also run AVD manager through clicking on this link click on AVD manager here you can see right now we are having two AVDs so we will create a new one create virtual device click on create virtual device now some settings will be visible so here you can see you can create a virtual device or you can run your app on these many devices virtual devices nexus with a size of 4.95 inch so here you can see different devices are available these are virtual devices through which you can create a new virtual device and check your app on it you can test your app on it so for phone these devices are available for TV that is Android TV these are available for tablets you can check this and for wear devices which is probably a, a watch so you can even check it on an Android Wear device without physically having it so for phone we will select any of each like Nexus 6 5, 596 5.96 these are the resolution and density settings just click on next Here you can see it is asking for the API level and by default it is showing x86 and API level is 23. So right now we we have downloaded it so there is no need else it would have come here that download Marshmallow 23 API level. So now click on next. Here you can see the settings are available like the AVD name. I'll enter any name like uh, Nexus AVD so that I could remember it. These are the DPIs you can change it the device from here also but right now we are considering this only marshmallow as we know we can change it from here scale is keep by default only portrait view only I'll tell you how to change it while running the AVD these are all generic settings click on show advanced settings here you can see different settings like on phone you want network you want a camera also front or back you can add it if you're running an app related to camera and want to check it RAM keep it default this is virtual memory heap internal storage keep it as default and that's it you can also enable keyboard input which is by default available so after doing all the changes just click on finish and that's it here you can see a new AVD will be added on the third number so we will run a demo app on it to show you how an AVD works so here you can see we created a Nexus AVD device with the name Nexus AVD if you remember these were the settings so now you can see if you want to edit it you can edit it using this option you can run it straight away from here so right now I'll show you how to run it just click on this go to run and just run your app on running you can see you have to select a device we have three AVDs right now we created Nexus AVD so we will click on it and just click on OK you can also select this like use same device for future launches so by default you won't have to change this, these settings again right now I am keeping the default one now for launching emulator click on OK and just wait here you can see it is starting AVD Here you can see our Nexus emulator device is running so it will take some time to show our app so just wait.